the No Fate channel, checking in, and we are starting off this episode of Dad's Home Gym, where every episode probably should be started here at Lowe's Home Improvement Center. Let's get to it. Today we are gonna be reviewing, filling, and absolutely destroying this brand new Synergy version two sandbag. But when we came to Lowe's, we didn't come here to get sand because another alternative, another way to fill these sandbags up, and I'm gonna go into it in a bit more detail, is with pea stone and rubber nougats. Let's get to it. I am back home in the garage. I've got my pea gravel, my rubber mulch, and my scale. Before I get down and dirty with it, I want to talk about and review this Synergy Fitness sandbag. This is a 60 pound sandbag. It does come with two internal liners and very much like really good sandbags. These internal liners are heavy duty material, double stitched, and they have dual Velcro at the top making sure that these are not going to leak and bust and they are going to hold up for the long term. The one nice thing about this Synergy Fitness sandbag that is very much different than a lot of the other sandbags, this is their version two. Not only does it come with handles on the top, on the sides, on the front, allowing you to do multiple different positions and exercises with regards to your hand position, the bag itself is made out of a durable material. That's very common with sandbags. Typically, they're made out of a durable canvas. But what's different about this one, not only is it zippered and Velcroed, making sure that, again, you're not going to have any leaks and, and busts when you are using it, but the inside of it is actually thick. Typically, with sandbags, they're very just, they're only as thin as the canvas is, but this has some cushion all the way around. And why, why that is nice is because oftentimes with sandbags, you're not supposed to slam them. But as workouts get intense, as you get exhausted, as you get tired, instead of placing them on the ground, you just let them drop. And over time, that will bust the sandbag. With having this nice cushion in here is going to be nice in terms of doing exercises. It's going to be a little bit more forgiving on your body. And if you happen to drop the sandbag rather than place it down, you're less likely to have this thing break on you. And it's gonna hold up for quite a long period of time. As far as Filling sandbags, there are a number of different ways to fill sandbags. Clearly the easiest and obvious way is to fill it with sand and you want to use a specific play sand that you're going to find at a Lowe's and Home Depot. That's the way to get these bags to be the heaviest because that's going to be the most dense. I happen to be a big fan of not getting super heavy sandbags. I like to always underfill my sandbags, making sure that they don't bust, that they don't split and making sure that there's room inside these internal bags for movability of the sand or whatever you're going to put in there because that movement does create the exertion on your body as you have to adjust rep to rep on these exercises. This new iteration of the Synergy Fitness Sandbag comes in two different sizes. A 20-40 bag allowing you to have two internal 20-pound bags, and it does come in multiple colors, and it comes in this beefy 30-60 size allowing two internal bags of 30 pounds a piece. As far as the price points, I'll put it up here. It is sold on Synergy Fitness website and Amazon.com. Links are in the description, and the code is NOFAY247. Check out both of those because the prices do fluctuate and I want you to get this for as little as possible. Now, as far as why I use Pea Stone, as I mentioned, I don't like to fill the bags up to the full 60 pound. I'm looking to get 50 pounds into the sandbag today, so I don't need all of the space. I'm gonna be using Pea Stone in large part because it makes it easier to fill up the bags. There's a lot less mess, it's a lot easier, and there tends to be a lot less um, leakage in the future down the road after beating this thing up. In order to fill up the extra space that's going to be in those sandbags, I will be using rubber mulch. You can get this at Home Depot and Lowe's. And what this does is that not only does it fill up the extra space, but it also gives a nice good kind of shock absorption to the pea stone. So it's a good yin to the yang. I will make up a batch of this before I actually load in the pea stone rubber mulch mix. I usually use 
uh, one full bag of the pea stone, and then I will use a third of the bag of the rubber mulch, stir it up, pour it in to make sure I get each bag weighing what I want them to weigh. In today's case, 25 pounds a piece. Let's get to it. Job's done. Inspired by worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did shit, I know it hurts. Something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit. Tell me that I can and I won't. That's what guys be the most. Fuck your lies, I'll do what I want. If you made it this far in the video, then you and I are officially best friends. Let me know in the comments below if you have a sandbag for your home gym and if you try to incorporate functional training into your training. Also, if you're interested, check out the Synergy Fitness website. Link is in the description as well as that Amazon affiliate link. It does help out the channel. Code is NOFAY247. All proceeds do go whoosh, right back into the channel to help pay for my home gym addiction and future gym equipment reviews for you. As usual, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button, and don't save anything, anything for the trip back.